they're suffering. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much, you, when you're talking about how they're balanced, it's a beautiful thing. And many people are missing this. So um, I feel grateful you know, that uh, my fear has been healed around not understanding. I had my own sexuality, sexual issues. I still have my own. Sex is a big issue for people, whether you're gay or straight, mm -hmm. that needs to be healed anyway. Mm -hmm. Then you add in, I don't understand this gay thing if you're straight. And so there's a lot of healing that needs to go on, but I, I think the supernatural or the, and the beauty of gay individuals is so, uh, has, has such integrity. I, I there's a spiritual community that I'm a, co a founder of mm -hmm. that's here in West Hollywood that you might be interested in. And uh, it's a transdenominational spiritual community, <coughs> not a church. Uh, and it's pretty amazing. Well, and I want to kind of echo something that you were saying. I know that 20 years ago I had done like Landmark Forum and mm -hmm. uh, things like that. And it got me into this really great place of power uh, about this and, uh, and awareness of it. And, you know, I became a minister in the Universal Life Church and stuff like that. But it was when I was standing in that power of awareness uh, and of the beauty of what being gay is in this supernatural sense. I remember back then that I was able to stand to be an example of, as a positive role model uh, of a gay man because what you had out there in the media was exactly what the mainstream media wants to perpetuate as all these men in, you know, chaps without their, you know, rear <laughs> and, you know, what, going down, you know. But those, uh, be careful, because those are judgments. No, 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 but, but, but there's nothing wrong with that. No, 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 but, exactly. but, but what I'm saying is that, so my, my point here was that people have that as a judgment. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if I can present myself as to say, listen, I'm a gay man. And so if that is your judgment and your viewpoint of gay men, I'm here to tell you, guess what, you know, I, I drive a Honda. I, you know. there's, there's nothing but, wrong with bears, twinks, you know, party boys, whatever. What's wrong is our judgment about them and the behavior that can be destructive, that can be, not always, but can be attached to that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with a, a bear. No. There's nothing wrong with a twink. There's nothing wrong with a guy that wears chaps and, the, and you can see his right. ass. Right, absolutely. Our judgment about them is what causes the pain and the separation. Mm -hmm. But if that's a preference, it's a preference. Right. If it's a preference that I find myself attracted to this type of person or that type of person, it's a preference. That's all it is. I think for me the point was 20 years ago, if I could be an example for a gay man, for people who don't know gay men, but all they see is what they see on the screen, then that is a step forward. And when I, to kind of what we're talking about, of relieving that fear. Yes. Um, and when I stood in that power, that was you know, powerful and helpful for me. But of yeah. course, you know, my pain body, Loves, you know, and, and oh, the pain body's always going to want to come back. Always going to do it. It it's always wants to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and to follow up on Peter's point about nothing new, in many ways, gay men are more honest. But I like bears. My, the point I want to drive home about that is that if you are a bear or you are a cub, if that's all you are, then you're lost. You're mm -hmm. gone. Your world stops right there. But that could also be said for it's all you are as a minister, all you are as a doctor, all you are as a Absolutely. woman, all you are this, as a man. That's the same. what our teaches. Anything Absolutely. that becomes your identity mm -hmm. and you lose you lose your pristine divinity in the process. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you have an illness you identify with the illness. Oh, oh I'm not. Yes. Cancer patient. How do I survive without mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of people's yeah. that's a lot of people's issues whether gay, straight, whatever it is, how do I survive without being a victim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do I survive right. without having that other person that's wrong? Right. And I just
just really want to bring that to your attention because there was a very powerful energy and judgment that went towards, oh, those gay people. That makes sense? And I applaud you for going into the ministry and we need that. I know nothing about fundamental Christianity. Christianity is not anything I've ever had any kind of <laughs> basis. <laughs> um, and I am blessed. I am very blessed because I have friends that have had very difficult lives and fight with that constantly. I have my own demons, absolutely. But if what the powerful healing comes in when you just can allow and you just come from that place of love and light and allowing and connecting and recognizing, okay, you got back this chap sign. Okay. I can see your house. Okay. <laughs> now, how are we more like? Well, one of the things I've been kind of trying to, and not always successful, is when I catch myself in judgment, I always pull myself back and try to go, they are on their own unique path. That just happens to be where they are. Because That's 10 years ago, you could, they're on their That's own unique the path. judgment itself. Oh, where is it? How is it? Remember, judgment? the judge always gets more judged. Uh -huh. One thing you can always do in that situation is when you identify yourself in that place of judgment, look the light switch and say, oh, I'm gonna switch this judgment to an observation. Mm -hmm. Everything changes when a judgment mm -hmm. is replaced as an observation. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then you'll know, what I really love about this is that you, no you drop the, the physical sensations that are going on in the body judgment and an observation is neutral so if the observation is neutral you'll notice the constriction feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. I mean it, the minute I see Fox News on it, <laughs> I just go it's like it's, it's artery restriction mm -hmm. happens to me and then if I walk by it and then I go oh I'm observing Fox News is on and it's and ironically, you breathe. I say, give mm. that thought to God. When I get that judgment or when I get that opinion, because I'll, I'll catch one coming out of my mouth and I'll be like, okay, okay. Do I want that thought? Do I want to live in that pain? Do I want to give somebody else that pain? Give that thought to God. Done. And you know what? It's amazing how fast it just goes. It's amazing. Kelly? Um, been involved with Landmark for 10 years, no, anyway, whatever period of time. The thing about it is it gave me tools, such that on the way here I had an experience that we could share with them about um, allowing people to be who they are. Inside allowing gives them the space to let it go. And to get to know you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You say, I'm not trying to change you, I'm not trying to fix you. Yes. I honor exactly who you are. You can have your opinions, you can have your judgment, it's all yours. Great. I see the world as a safe place. I don't see the world as a dangerous. I see the world as a place of love and love. And, and if I and come to what you people, call it. if I come to people with that and say, okay, you're you're a you classify